The first style of lunges that we're going to talk about in this video is dumbbells walking lunges. I'm sure you've done this before or you've seen other people do this, but I noticed a lot of common mistakes. Make sure when you step forward, your knee doesn't pass your toes. You drop your hips down, not forward. You exhale on top. Keep your chest upright. Pinch your shoulder blades. Brace your core. Don't buckle your knee in. Stay tight and strong. Squeeze your quads on top and exhale on top. Remember, the main rule, drop your hips down, not forward. The second style of lunges is similar to the first one, dumbbells walking lunges, but in a zigzag style. Nothing changes, you do want to drop your hips down, not forward, you don't want to pass your knee over your toes, you're just walking in a zigzag style, slightly laterally, right foot goes slightly to the right, left foot goes slightly to the left. You don't need to rush with the movement, make sure you keep your core braced so you don't lose the balance. The third style of lunges is static dumbbell lunges. You hold dumbbells on each side, you drop your hips down, knee does not have to touch the floor. You may add static hold anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds. You may do static holds every 5 reps or at the end of your set. And repeat that on the other side. Make sure your chest is up, pinch your shoulder blades, exhale on top, drop your hips down, don't push your knee forward, and don't buckle your knee. Style number four, barbell static lunges. Pick up the bar from a squat rack like you would do for squats. Make sure the bar is on your traps and it's secured. Hold it tight. Step back, one foot forward, one foot back. Make sure both knees, when you drop down your hips, are at 90 degree angle. Do not push your knee forward. Exhale on top when you come up. Keep your core braced. You don't want to lose your balance. Style 5 is also done with a bar, Zercher's Static Lunges. Placement of the bar is similar as in Zercher's Squats. You pick up the bar, you step back, one foot forward, one foot back. You may add a static hold to challenge yourself. Make sure your chest is upright, your forearms are facing up. If they do lean forward, the bar will pull you forward. You must engage your core even tighter with Zercher exercises because the bar is in front of you, so the gravity is pulling you forward. The back knee does not have to touch the floor, the back foot on your toes only. Again, brace your core, exhale on top, but don't get loose. Style number six, cable lunges. You don't have to use the rope attached to the cable for this specific exercise. You may use a straight bar or wave bar. Add a static hold for extra challenge. You may do it every fifth rep for anywhere from five to 20 seconds or at the end of your set. The positioning and the form is the same. Keep your arms straight in front of you. Don't let the gravity or the weight pull you forward. Chest up, exhale on top, squeeze your quads, drop your knees and come all the way up to finish a full range of motion. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.